Hey everyone, Mr. Alman8 here. In 1992, there was a video game that innovated and revolutionized the genre. With digitized sprites of real people and the controversial blood and gore graphics, among other things. I'm of course talking about Mortal Kombat. Or as it's also called, Mortal Kombat! The franchise is still going strong after dozens of games, spin-offs, crossovers, etc. So to celebrate the 30 year run, I have made a top 50 fighters of Mortal Kombat. Okay, here are the rules. No guest characters from other franchises, no customized MK characters, and no movie exclusive characters. Basically, if it's a playable character in the main games, then it's likely on the list. The fighters will be scored based on how challenging they are, how unique they are, and how popular slash iconic slash notable they are or just how prominent they are for short. I would call this the cup method. The championship cup method to be exact. Okay, now for some honorable mentions. This one goes to the guest characters from other franchises. The idea of playing iconic characters from pop culture is a dream come true by many fans of their favorite franchises. So with everything covered up, Let's move on to the list. Number 50 Havoc This cleric of chaos is an odd fighter with moves like contorting his limbs while fighting and ripping his own head off. His design is decent looking like an undead warlord, it's just not as notable as the others on this list. That said, his goal to create chaos is very or fairly prominent from time to time, especially when interacting with other characters. Sometimes he will help them, other times he won't, all in the name to living up to his name. Number 45, Cyrax, a great assassin of the Lin Kuei who later has cybernetic enhancements, making him a far more formidable fighter, as well as shooting bombs, nets, etc. While others do possess his design, it is still fancy enough to be on this list. Cyrax's involvement with the Lin Kuei involve relations with the likes of Kuai Liang Sub-Zero, Smoke, and Sector. He goes through a lot of stuff being turned to a cyborg, hunting down other Lin Kuei to be cybernized, having a change of heart from time to time, as well as having a feud with Sector. Oh, and he worked for a vampire at one point. Number 40, Scarlet. She has the power to manipulate blood. That's rather useful in a fighting game where blood gets constantly sprayed. And the blood she controls can be made into weapons. Aside from being another color swap of female ninjas, Scarlet can have her own style. Her prominence spanned long before her debut in MK9. Starting around about MK2, her origin was an experimented orphan with the help of Shao Kahn, as well as teaching her blood magic. And it's these things that allow Scarlet to bleed her way onto this list.
Number 35. Aaron Black. Come on. He's basically a ninja cowboy. Not only does he have sand-based weapons, but practical weapons, such as guns. Aaron Black has had a fair share of killing off a few MK characters. And he could put up a fight towards others, and other times not so much. He has also worked with the likes of Shao Kahn, Kotal Khan, and formerly Kano. While he is from Earthrealm, and from the Wild West, he has been in Outworld for over 150 years. This is thanks to Shang Tsung giving Eren the power to slow his aging. And that is why this Wild West warrior whisks himself onto this list. Number 30. Cabal. A former cop that's been through serious injuries and shady organizations. As a result, he's become a fast moving, hook blade wielding cyborg. Cabal has taken on the likes of Noob Cybot, Melina, as well as Kano. That said, he's been beaten by other characters such as Sindel and Kintaro. Cabal can outmaneuver his opponents. And with his blades, that makes him more deadly of a fighter. His design is rather good, rugged, mysterious looking, with a dash of Mad Max. This fierce fast fighter speeds his way onto the list. Number 25. Shiva. Queen of the Shokan, bodyguard and ally to Sindel, and general to Shao Kahn. Her design and formidability is on what you'd expect from a Shokan. Standard four arms, can pack a bunch of punches, all that stuff. Aside from that, not much else, but still worth adding on this list. Number 20. Sonya Blade. The first woman to enter the franchise and is a formidable fighter with her kisses of death. Plus her gadgets and of course her legs. She has fought cyborgs, ninjas, cyborg ninjas and has been defending Earthrealm for many years. Her 90s attire is the most notable and her other designs vary to not notable, to appealing. Lore-wise, Sonya has been in US Special Forces hunting down the man Kano for revenge for killing her partner. Over the years, she has co-founded the Outer World Investigation Agency, plus starting a family with Johnny Cage and her daughter, Cassie Cage. All of these things add up as she earns her spot on the list. Number 15. Kung Lao, or Kung Lao. Since he is the descendant of the great Kung Lao, he too is a formidable fighter and warrior monk of the White Lotus Society. And he continues the legacy of his ancestors to defend Earthrealm along with his fellow monk brother, Liu Kang. His notable design is his razor hat, giving him the literal edge on the competition. 
Kung Lao has fought and beaten the likes of the Shokan and Sorcerers. But despite his accomplishments, he would wind up dead and returned as a revenant. Oh, and his past self returns, and that's as far as this fighter goes, both in Journey and this list. Okay, now for the top 10. So from 10 to 1, we are going to be looking at each of the fighters in detail. Number 10. Shinnok, or as I like to call him, Shnook, is the fallen elder god of death, which, come to think of it, would explain why death in Mortal Kombat is a tad off. Anyway, this guy was banished to the Neverrealm by the other Elder Gods, and needed the help of Quan Chi to obtain his amulet and reclaim his power in order to conquer Earthrealm. His formidability is… not the most formidable of boss fights. That said, he is still the type of god that could survive many defeats. His design is, well, almost on the lines of… it reminds me of Gary Oldman as Dracula. Other designs are regal and his corrupt form, well, they really want him to be Balrog from Lord of the Rings. Anyway, that's his spot right there. Number 9. Blaze. This guy has the power to end it all and is a major staple in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, with his immense power as a prize to a victor who can beat him. His design is decent, from Man on Fire in the background, to Lava Golem front and center. Sadly, not much can be said about this character. Nevertheless, Blaze blazes his way onto this list. Number 8. Onaga. He is the Dragon King of Outworld, an entity so strong he could even beat Shao Kahn. So Shao Kahn had to be Onaga by poisoning him. But that didn't stop Onaga from concocting his biggest conquest. By obtaining the Kami Dogu, he can merge the realms together and become an all-powerful being. Of course, this was foiled by the very person he was manipulating throughout the story. Shujinko. His design is rather good. He's got a tail, wings, horns, and of course, he can breathe fire. He was also able to create undead stone soldiers as part of his army. This powerful primordial being packs a punch into this list. Number 7. Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage. From Hollywood action star to the Fender of Earth, this guy can put up a fight both on screen and off screen. With his shadow kick, to his crotch shot. And as controversial and illegal as that move is, may I remind you, aside from being out of the jurisdiction, he is at a fight to the death tournament with his world at stake, with ninjas that could perform mystical feats and a brute with four freaking arms. While one of the most human looking characters, he has the humor, pizzazz, and charisma to be notable and a big stable in Mortal Kombat lore. Furthermore, he has gone the distance from battling ninjas to gods. And not only does he have ancestral powers of a mystical war tribe, he also has a legacy, as later on, he starts a family with his wife Sonya Blade, and later their daughter Cassie Cage. This of course earns him a high spot on the list. Number 6. Shang Tsung. This Lopan esque villain is an interesting concept. Instead of going after girls with green eyes, he absorbs souls. This big bad of the first game can masquerade and copy the abilities of fighters from the tournament, as well as his own character design, spanning from young to old, 
And, well, you get the idea. Using his cunning and sorcery, Shang Tsung has definitely been around the block, spanning from multiple games and allies with the worst of the worst for thousands of years. He has won many MK tournaments, and obtaining ultimate power that can conquer the universe. This sinister scheming sorcerer earns a high spot on this list. Number 5 Shao Kahn Kahn! This fusion dance product of He-Man and Skeletor is a conqueror of worlds and emperor of Outworld. With a backstory involving a former ambassador of the Elder Gods and former chief advisor to the Dragon King Onaga, this fighter has been very prominent in Mortal Kombat lore, with many Mortal Kombat characters working with him, including Shang Tsung, Sindel, and many others. He fights like a tank, bashing his enemies with his Wrath Hammer. With a multitude of powers including soul absorption, he can even survive deadly blows making him one tough nut to crack. In Armageddon, he almost wins and wielded the power of Armageddon in the original timeline. In the new timeline, he was stopped. Then in MK11, his past self returns through a time portal and reclaims his kingdom. Truly a battling beast of barbarity. Number 4 Liu Kang. This seemingly simple character has an extraordinary track record. He won two Mortal Kombat tournaments, can turn into a dragon, was killed and came back as a revenant, then fusing with his past self and became a god. That's rather unique in terms of journey. With those accomplishments, he is a very strong character and is very prominent in Mortal Kombat lore, to the point he could shape the realms, and can perform a kick-ass bicycle kick. This definitely earns his way onto the list. Number 3 Sub-Zero Mostly the Kwai Liang version, but generally the mantle itself. He has quite a good history, strong lore with the Lin Kuei, as well as his rival Scorpion. Beloved by many fans and literally the coolest character with the coolest moves and fatalities. He has taken on fellow ninjas and battled Scorpion for years, and sometimes protected by Scorpion. And much later, they reconcile their differences, plus Sub-Zero becomes the Grand Master of the Lin Kuei. His temperature on ice powers are low, but his score is high on this list. Number 2 Scorpion Now, why he is higher than Sub-Zero are the following. 1. He is the poster child for Mortal Kombat. 2. There is only one Scorpion and not two like Sub-Zero, making him more special or rare. And 3. He seems to hold his own as a character. This Neverrealm ninja has a very long backstory and solid lore behind him. His rival with the Lin Kuei, his long-running feud with Sub-Zero, his manipulation from Quan Chi is known throughout the series. Plus the iconic kunai with rope, which gives him that scorpion flavour, along with his famous get over here line. And as he takes off his mask, he becomes a fire-breathing skeleton. Pretty kick-ass. He has also taken on sorcerers, demons, cyborgs, among other combatants in Mortal Kombat. Which is why he is very high on this list. Number 1 And the number 1 spot for the top 50 fighters of Mortal Kombat goes to... Raiden. Defender of Earthrealm and has guided and mentored many warriors from Set Realm for centuries. This Thunder God has powerful electrical attacks, can teleport, fly, and was able to go the distance in Armageddon, making him one of the most powerful and endurable characters 
in Mortal Kombat. Plus, Raiden has fought the likes of Shinnok, the Revenants, Shao Kahn, Scorpion, the Tarkatans, and other formidable fighters. His design is rather fancy, the hat being the most notable part. As well as driving the story, he has been involved with some of the most major altering timeline stories in MK. So much so, he caught the attention of a Time Titan. And because of those factors, this of course makes Raiden number one. And that was the top 50 fighters of Mortal Kombat. So from Mr. Owlman 8, farewell, and here's to many years of flawless victories and fatalities. Yeah.